increase to like 400 and then complete it over here, select it, drag it from here, drop it here and then move it in so it doesn't need to stop the door. So move it in by like 400. Alright, um, it WC will come after this. Alright, so for WC, I think I'll go for something like this and you know, change the direction to that area, place it here. Excuse me briefly, I will be back. Okay, I'm back once again. Um, I'm going to take this to the side, not too close to the wall at least, so someone that's seated would know where they're positioning their legs, and then I'm going to bring in a shower. Okay. I'm going to go with the shower kit and utilize this kit or this or this. Uh, which of them? This, 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 this. <laughs> uh, some things could be that way. So uh, I'm just going to leave the representations as they are and place the shower kit right here. All right. So even though the 3D is not so much my concern at the moment you can, by the way I switch this to simplify it so that I don't see multicolor for different items if I left this where it was before you can see that um, you have orange colors for the window this greenish blue for the beams you have grayish on the walls and so on and so forth but with this I just get black everywhere and you know, it kind of feels more relaxing to do that for me alright so we got this for that toilet. By the way, colors of a lot of these things are still going to change. So in case one feels that uh, I'm intending living this like this, this is not presentable enough for me. All right, so one room done, one toilet done. That's like three rooms to go. And here, ah, the journey is still far. All right, so I'm going to pick this, this and this and just drag a copy of them to this place and rotate them in this direction. And I guess I could just... Uh, I guess I could just drag them to where I need them. Alright. Because if I observe clearly, they just kind of fit in this way as well. Alright, so take this. Please ensure that everybody's stuff are charging over there when you're done. Hope you heard me. Hello. Okay. Okay, next I'm going to position a bed. Uh, I think I could just mirror this room, get this exact arrangement repeated at this portion, okay? Uh, take all of this, mirror a copy here, and then find the center point with like this loop right here, and voila, here we go. Two rooms now, two to go. Alright, uh, to not waste so much time, I'm going to still take all of this as they are, and then bring them here. Let everybody go, then take this guy and bring it down here. Okay, so one extra thing I think I'll be adding at this stage is I can adjust this guy's position, um, this guy specifically, to go a bit further inside and we can observe that by now it only takes every person to know that it's going to be this the chair. So I'll vary this arrangement slightly. Uh, I'm going to rotate this around, I'm going to turn this around and bring it like here. Okay, then I'm going to bring this, turn it around and face this wall over here. Then this guy I'm going to mirror. Okay, and then kind of bring it to the corner here. I think I could just adjust its angle, uh, make this 270 so it doesn't feel too weird. Yeah, and then bring it somewhere here and then take this everything good. Ensure that the centers are aligned and yeah, we're moving. Next, I want to take everything I have here, switch it over to the other side. All right, close the doors, you go. Uh, I think I could just mirror everything for now. My thinking might eventually turn out wrongly, as it did last time. So I'm going to mirror again. I'm going to use this area as my center. It's not the correct center, by the way, but once I have everything and then I can push them by 150, they should all land properly. Okay, uh, I think this works fine. The extra I'm going to do to this is I am going to make this have two night tables, okay? Um, so I'm going to drag the bed to this position. 
okay then take this down here to this position and okay i think all rooms are furnished right now um let's provide a laundry table for that i'm going to utilize a moth so i'm just going to come from around here pull out by like 400 go in it's one eight so we're going down like it like one four so there's like 400 on this side as well then go over here drag it all the way to the end whatever that is and then ah, i'm not done continue extending and yeah i'm done now then i can offset this inwards by like 300 okay or oh, i could leave it where it was earlier but curve the edges so that you know they don't appear quite disturbing to someone who use who would use them right so i'm going to do the curve by like 450 um repeat something like that here one might notice i'm using a more for not an existing table well that's because it's not every day that i find exactly what i need and in my own experience so far i think this is just the first time of me getting what i need here especially just since what i'm trying to do just represent it on plan so rather than 450 i'll use 300 and do that here again as well and yeah this is not enough if you check out on the 3d here you're gonna see a flat guy on the floor and no this is not what we want what we want is going to be having this flat guy extend upwards uh yeah one meter is good one thousand and then set a color for it in which case i think i would want something marble ish all right so the idea is that above here you have a table for ironing and underneath it you could have the washing machines position inside okay so this kind of fits into what i want so you have washing machine installed underneath this area now i'm going to come down to start working on the counter and all that nah i'm not doing interior design for this i just want the owner of the house to have a good idea of how i intend for his house to be furnished at least to optimize space usage and not have wastage okay uh what am i overlooking what am i overlooking what am i overlooking okay now um, the front yard all right so for that i'm just gonna get a comfy chair uh is it rocking chair what was the name i had called it yeah the rocking chair all right so uh it's 1000 by 600 so i think i'm gonna like increase that 1000 to like one one okay and the height at one five yeah still works so i'm going to provide one rocking chair over here then aside from the rocking chair i think i could just have a sofa but it's a different sofa this time than what we had before all right so uh yeah i think i'm gonna stretch the length so that it can hold many people at once or do i just go for something like this uh yeah this is stretched version of that so i'm gonna go with this uh drop it on the plan uh have that like here so what happens to our rocking chair well i'm adjusting its position now to come somewhere like here i'll be like here you know are you not obstructing